Hey guys, my name is Sarah. I'm a healthcare traveler and I live full time in my Airstream. I'm currently staying in Washington state where the temps are dropping below freezing every night. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gearing up for winter. I got to Washington at the beginning of summer and I absolutely fell in love. It is so beautiful here that I've decided to stick out the winter months and see how I do with the gloom. Now that being said, today is an unusually beautiful sunny day. So I'm super excited to get to film this for you guys on such a pretty day. I actually just moved to a pretty awesome new spot that's only 10 minutes from my job. It is private, peaceful, and absolutely beautiful here. There's like a Japanese themed koi pond, waterfall, little gazebo meditation area. There's string lights. This place has all the vibes and I am so grateful I found this hidden gem. The temperature dropped pretty drastically recently and this is the first time I've ever camped in the Airstream in temperatures below freezing. So it's been a huge learning curve and I actually got a set of air skirts in the mail today and I'm super excited to test them out. If you don't know what air skirts are, they're a skirt that goes around your RV and it's actually inflatable. Once the temperature drops below freezing, it can freeze your plumbing and pipes, which can cause some pretty gnarly damage to your RV. Air skirts help insulate your RV by preventing cold air from getting underneath. Although their marketing is heavy towards Airstreams, they actually work for any type of RV. You just go to their website and input the make and model of your RV and they'll tell you which set to order. I got the small RV kit for my Airstream because it's a 22 foot caravel and that's what the website told me to get. So let's open up the boxes and see what's inside. Pretty straightforward. Airstream travel trailer, 22 feet. So this is my specific trailer that they sent. I don't really know what this is. I also have yet to find out what this is. We'll get there. So upon reading the manual, I discovered that these are sharp edge protectors. These are for 90 degree corners and this is tape that you can cut to size. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some to the step in front of my front door and then we'll start the inflation process. I think we're ready. Okay, now that I have all of the air skirts in place, I'm gonna go ahead and inflate them with the air pump. This thing is 800 watts. Since I have electricity here, I'm gonna use the outlet that I have right here. If I were boondocking, I could use my EcoFlow Delta II. That has an 1800 watt AC output, so I would easily be able to power this thing. It's giving me OCD that the first one doesn't look as pretty as the second one, but it's okay. I can always go back and make it prettier later. <laughs> I'm kind of scared to inflate this one all the way. We're gonna leave that one like that for now. The installation wasn't too bad. It's actually really easy. Um, the only thing is I'm a perfectionist and I can't get them to look as beautiful as they are in the photos. So I'm definitely gonna have to go back and adjust them until they look a lot prettier. But I am super excited. I think these things are going to be my saving grace in the winter temperatures. 
It does seem a little sketchy when I'm inflating them that they're gonna pop or get torn in some way, but I did look and it says that they're made of a heavy duty military grade material. So as long as you use those sharp edge protectors, you should be fine. You're not supposed to inflate them until they're rock hard. You still wanna be able to kind of like poke them a little bit. I love that I didn't have to drill any holes. I literally just had to inflate them and you can set them up within less than 30 minutes. I'm a total newbie when it comes to winter camping, but I think these are gonna be a game changer for me. I love that they're gonna act as an insulator and help prevent my pipes from freezing. So it's one less thing I have to worry about in this whole new world of winter camping. Airstreams are also designed in a way where when I run my furnace, that also prevents my pipes from freezing. I can't attest to all RVs, but I do know that if I were to run only my electric heater, that would not help my plumbing at all. So now I'm burning through propane like crazy and running the furnace constantly. So hopefully these will help me save a little bit on propane as well. The only other major thing I've had to get with the freezing temperatures is a heated hose. This is really important if you have a constant water connection. So that way your hose doesn't freeze. <laughs> I got one from Camco. It was like a hundred bucks on Amazon and you just plug it into an outlet. It has like a little heated coil wire that goes around it and that turns on once it drops below 40 degrees. It has a little thermostat on it so it knows when to kick on and when to turn off. Definitely a worthwhile investment because if my hose were to freeze, I would be out of water, which means no showers, no dishes, no brushing your teeth, nothing. It wouldn't be a livable situation. I did learn that when running my furnace constantly, I have to keep a window cracked open. If I don't do that, condensation builds up like crazy on my windows so that's another tip if you're also new to winter camping is always crack a window when you're leaving that furnace running on top of keeping a window cracked i also use a dehumidifier that i leave running all of the time and i have moisture absorbers that i put all throughout the trailer so other than my air skirts, my heated hose, and running the furnace versus my electric heater, some other cold weather camping tips are to get an electric blanket. I'm obsessed with mine. I use it all day, every day when I'm in the trailer. I also got some heat holder socks, which were recommended by another Airstream YouTuber, and I am obsessed with those things. They kind of look like I have cankles when I'm wearing them, but I don't care, they're amazing. If I ever go out of town and I know that the temperature is going to drop below freezing, I set my furnace to a very low temperature just to make sure that my pipes stay heated. And if I'm ever curious what temperature it is in my trailer, I can actually check my Waggle Pet Monitor. And that not only shows me the temperature, but it also shows me the percentage of humidity. So not only does this let me check on the temperature for my dog's sake, but also for my trailer's sake. All right, so that's about all I got for winter camping tips. I'm still a newbie, so if you guys have any tips for me, I will take as many as I can get. If you have any questions about anything I talked about in this video, or if you're interested in purchasing any of the products I talked about, make sure you check the description below. I will put links and discount codes to a couple products as well. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you're interested in more Airstream, RV, and travel content. I actually have some super exciting news that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys in my next video. So make sure you stay tuned for that and I will see you guys next time.